welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Mini. So in this video I'm going to explain to you all the bits that are slightly wrong with the car and the bits that I'm going to sort out to make sure this car looks absolutely awesome. So let's have a look. When I bought the car, um, the chap that had it before did get the car at the front actually repaired that, you know, on minis, a lot of the rust uh, happens around here. So obviously with classic cars, um, rust is always a big thing. In the UK, uh, water gets into all little nooks and crannies and it does uh, rust. That's just the way that like, classic cars work. Now, the issue is this is not actually that classic in, in terms of classic cars. This is only 1998, uh, 97, sorry. So I don't even think it classes as a, a technically a classic. But the issue is that these cars weren't very well built when they were new. And so over time, uh, bits like around here rust very easily. Uh, bits around the windscreen, they rust really easily. And ultimately, there's just a lot of rust repair to be done on these cars, which the previous owner on the front hand side and the back did do. However, you can probably see how bad the paint is. It's really struggling to focus. There you go. Can you see just all those swell marks, even in that light, you can see as that goes around. So yeah, all those swell marks need to be taken out. I've got the machine polish, but I'm gonna be really, really careful. I'm probably just gonna use a bit of hand compound and just do it by hand. But at the front wise, um, it didn't look too bad. The spotlights, I think I might have a little look at those. Um, the front bonnet needs to actually be doing, because actually there's a little there's a little lip here, just along the bonnet, which I need to just sort out. Um, so that's one thing I need to do. Um, the spotlights I need to have a little look at, um, because there's some odd bits going on there. And also I've ordered some new bonnet stripes. Um, I've just gone for white. I haven't got the John Cooper bit on it, because uh, it's actually technically not a John Cooper car. So I've just gone for the nice white stripe at the front, because uh, they are a little bit tatty. So that is the front. Other than that, I think it looks pretty good. On the side, I've got the standard Cooper wheels, uh, which come with the Cooper sports pack, but they are a bit scuffed, so I need to get those all done. So all four of them need to be done. I need to, to get those sorted. And actually, if I'm kind of coming down, uh, underneath all these seals are actually, you know, in really good nick. I do want to just go under the car and just check to make sure there's no, like, little bits that are kind of hidden that I need to repair. If there are, I'm just going to get them, just get them repaired, get them protected and that'd be all good so that for the next owner uh, when it comes up but all the different under all these panels which often rust along here there's no bubbling there's no panel so i suspect these have, have been done uh, this is open by the way it's not just really badly aligned but yeah so the bottom of that door is, is really nice that isn't original nor is that i think i'm gonna get rid of those and just you know then then do that back and uh, and get looking nice wing mirrors these are original but again I said that the, the chap before had it respray. Can you see all that overspray just along this edge? So that's when obviously the, the car hasn't quite been taped up properly. S sprayed the front of it, and then it's obviously just sprayed onto wind mirror. So they need to be sand. They need to be sanded and then painted. But while I'm there, the roof, this glorious little thing, is not standard. I particularly, I like them on newer ones. I don't like them on the classics. There's there's two things on here I really don't like. The roof is one of them. This Union Jack I do not like. And also someone has tinted the windows. And if I just show you for a second how bad this is done. If I just wind the window down. Yes, they are um, they are manageable. Can you see, look, that film? Hang on. Oh, God, hang on. Let me close the door. Can you see? Oh, you can't really see it. So basically, this has been really bad. Oh, there you go. If you look at my hand, look, you can see there's a lip there where the tints have been done. So the tints have been done really badly. So I need to get all of those off and actually just make it look a little bit more classic. So yeah, as for the sides though, wheels need to be done. Obviously all the paint needs to be corrected. I have actually gone over it. I washed it and I polished it just so I know what I'm working with. And yeah, all the paint does need to be corrected, but actually the sides aren't too bad. There's not big rust patches, which there are often are a lot, especially on those door seals. So that's all okay. And so then coming around the back of the side, um, again, the back's absolutely okay. Um, the boot, Again, sometimes these rust along the side here, uh, and especially around here. So actually, what happens is that water runs off the roof and then collects in this little gully. And then obviously you can imagine that all the all the water sits in the gully. So actually at the moment, all I've really got is just kind of bits of dirt. There are little holes under there 
There's a little hole there that drops the water out. And as you can imagine, all those rust, they're okay. They've got a bit of polish in there from someone obviously that's tried to polish them. Uh, but I just need to kind of get everything kind of back and detail. But they're absolutely fine. A nice, again, a nice solid car. All the kind of bits are solid. Um, and actually, yeah, again, it's just the paint through really tacky. Oh, God, look at that. That's the tinted windows. Look how bad that looks. So, yeah, those have just got to go. They're horrendous. Um, exhaust wise, actually, a nice exhaust. Um, isn't blowing. It's, it's a nice quality exhaust. Um, it just needs to be kind of polished back. So, on the weekend when I cleaned the car, uh, I did go over it and give it a nice little clean up. But actually, you know, it, it doesn't look great still. I need to kind of go under the car and give it a proper, proper polish. And actually, while I'm there, all the chrome bits, which on this car there are lots of, not as much nowadays, but bumpers around the lights, even the fuel filler cap, which is a nice little option, that all needs to be cleaned up and made look nice. But yeah, other than that, front sides, boot, back area, absolutely fine. Paintwork wise, not too bad at all. Just need to get it refined back, bright up some of the bright work, the chrome, get the wheels sorted and get these awful tints and roof off. So one thing I haven't been through with you guys is my intentions with the car. So you know I bought it because I had a bit of nostalgia, it kind of hit me, I wanted another classic car, I wanted another classic Mini, but I haven't really gone through what my intentions are, what I'm going to do with it. And well, it's simple. During lockdown, which we're all in, during this difficult time, we all got to be safe, we want to stay at home. But I also work at home, like a lot of people, and so it's kind of getting a really bit boring inside. And so I wanted something to do. I was getting a little bit fidgety, and so I thought, well, a car is probably the perfect place to start. I can't fiddle around with my Porsche because, well, I don't want to ruin anything. I don't want to avoid any warranties. I just want, don't want to mess around with it. It's just, it's my daily, I don't want to worry about things like that. This is the kind of car that if I get something wrong, well, it's in a garage, I can just afford to stick it there and not use it because I've got something else to use. So what I want to do during lockdown is do everything I can personally to the car to make it the best it can possibly be in my hands. Now, the reason I want to do that is because I want to learn a new skill. Like a lot of people, probably bored at home, I've seen people learn how to sing, play guitar, teach different lessons. You know, there's so much people, things that are going on and people are doing some amazing things. Some people are running like marathons in their garden. I'm not doing a marathon, for God's sake, I'm not a runner. I hate that idea. But it does inspire a lot of people to do stuff. And so I want to learn a lot more about cars and what I can do to them. And so there are things on a classic me which are really simple. A lot of things are simple. The engine's simple. And so what I'm going to do is learn a new skill. Now that skill might be paint work, engine work. It might be interior work. It might be working with leather. I don't know. And hopefully it's going to be all of those. The biggest reason is because I want to learn new skills. So right. That's a bit of just a chat, just to explain it. Let's get inside and I'll show you the inside. So, to start with, these leather seats aren't too bad, but they do need to tidy up. I bought some Auto Glim uh, leather cleaner or leather conditioner, whatever it's called. I've got a little brush. So I'm gonna take these car these seats out and I put it on the little workbench we've got here. And I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna go after them. Try and not be too aggressive with the leather. I don't want to tear anything, make anything worse. But you can see there, for example, that's where the leather's not been touched, not been sat on, and that's where it has. So I just need to condition it a little bit more, kind of get it back to life. In the back of the car, totally different story. They're absolutely fine. They look great. Obviously, no one's really sat in there. You don't, not many people get in the back. They are actually plenty. You have plenty of room. You know, you can get in there as an adult, uh, if you're not a tall adult, I should say. But yeah, the seats are fine. Uh, seat belts themselves are fine. They, they look like a nice colour. So actually, rear seat, I will take out, just give a nice little clean over. But yeah, really just the front seats to worry about. Looking towards the front of the car, uh, steering wheel probably needs a little bit of tidying up to do. Um, both the door cards have got this walnut along the top and then the handles as well. So this one's got all of that on this side, but you can see there's cracks on it. These three are a different color to the top one. So what I need to do is either decide to take them all off and recondition them as best I can, or just buy a complete new set for the, the top of the doors and the little ha pull handles, the winder and the handle for the door and do the other side as well. But the point is that if I do those and change the color, I need to match the walnut in the interior. However, if I just, whoop, just jump inside, 
this dash isn't that bad. And actually, if you look at it, this looks all right. You know, it's a nice little glove box and there's no cracks to it. But the actual dash by itself, if you look at it, has got some cracks to it. It is starting to wear. So what might be the plan to do is take all of the walnut out, have a look and decide whether I want to repair it or just replace it. So I'll have a look. But these dials, they look fine. All this looks all right. Uh, little air vents look fine. The dials in the middle don't look great. This is all black, which it shouldn't be. That should be a walnut, I believe. Um, also, I think that's different. And actually, for some reason, the hazard light is a div it's rounded as opposed to flat like those two. So I don't know if you can see that, but that one's... Well, that sounds good. Yeah, that one's a totally different shape. So I need to get a new hazard button for that. And actually, someone's put this absolutely awful 12 volt socket in there. So I need to get rid of that uh, from the car. But yeah, I need to replace the dial little instrument cluster here get rid of those but actually these ones i probably just clean up the lenses they they let make those look a little bit nicer um but other than that carpet looks good the pedals there the john cooper works pedals they look nice um and so i think from the inside let me just turn you around i don't think we have too much work to do on the inside and um, yeah there's some bits and bobs to do but actually get the seats out put it on the bench i'll probably get one of those hire one of those wet hoovers just so i can go through and, and really go up the carpets make those look nice but Inside, fortunately, it's not too bad. That's kind of why I wanted to buy the car, because it, it was a really nice basis for me to start and learn and do some bits. We don't have to worry too much about doing some really heavy duty stuff. So yeah, let's have a look in the engine bay. Super simple, little lever under here. Jesus, pull that, close that, and then, right, so there's a, there's a little catch under there. All right, let's do this one hand. And then, I don't know if you can see, because I'm trying to do it with, one hand only so then that goes in there there you go so quick highlights uh, it's a 1275cc or what i think they call a 1.3 it's called an mpi so it's a multi-point fuel injection car um which is obviously upgraded from the from the originals which obviously had a carburetor so this is slightly different um what else is there well actually it's very simple it's a four cylinder you know you can see Kind of the simple bits. A new alternator has been on there, which actually you can tell looks really nice. So what I am going to do is I've got some engine degreaser kind of grime remover. I'm going to go through and kind of clear out all the bits of grime and things to it. And then from there, I'm going to have a look and see what bits I need to do. But just start with the simple stuff. There is some heating shielding that's gone in, but it looks tatty. So what I need to do is just tidy it up. Whether I keep it or not, I don't know. But I just need to keep tidy it up, make it look nice. Engine. The tappets have been adjusted, so that actually looks sounds really nice. And actually, going through the car, it sounds nice, it runs really well. So I don't need to worry too much about that. Gearbox is good. Um, so actually, it's just kind of cosmetic things, I think, going through it, making sure everything's okay. Actually, one thing I do need to do is this little thing here has come off. So what I need to do is find a, find a little kind of secure thing for that. So I need to do that. And so yeah, if I just leave the engine bay for a second, Anything else mechanical under the car? Well, I need to do the front pads. Those are getting a bit low, and I think it's recommended I should do those. So I'm gonna get those done. I'm gonna order them. I'm gonna get the car up in the air and I'm gonna do them myself, because pads are relatively simple. You basically just take them out and put the new ones in. There isn't any bleeding to be done. It's actually pretty simple. Moving towards the middle of the car, again, there's not much too much to worry about. Uh, exhaust wise, I need to get the car up in the air a little bit, have a little look at the exhaust to make sure there's no holes or anything like that. But I, I'm pretty sure there's not. This doesn't sound, doesn't appear to sound like there is. And then towards the back of the car, just the exhaust. I mentioned a little while ago that I'm just going to clean that up um, and, and sort that out. So, so yeah. Other than that, mechanically. It runs really nicely, the gearbox is good, the clutch is fine, um, the brake pads, again, just need to do it at the front and then they'll be good. So I'm really pleased by it, you know, I think it's a really nice little car uh, and I just need to kind of get some bits and bobs done to it. So guys, that has been a run through of my classic mini. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've gone through the exterior, the interior, and the engine with all the kind of little mechanical bits I need to do to it. I'm really glad that I've got this little project to do, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the next videos are gonna be things like taking the seats out, showing you guys that, showing you what parts have arrived. I've actually, I've got to tell you, I ordered the part for that little aerial, because the aerial was all kind of naffed up, so I've got that part on the way, so I'm gonna replace that, but 
yeah, I'm going to document it to show you guys. Hopefully you're interested. Um, but if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you could comment below if you've got any advice, any links, any YouTube channel videos that are going to help me with what I want to do to the car, then please pop it below. I really want to see. Um, I will also, I promise you, I will get the Porsche back on the channel. I'm going to do a video very soon about things I do and don't like about the car because there are a few things that are winding me up a little bit, but that will be in a video come very, very soon. But for now, I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to subscribe to see future videos. I will see you very, very soon. I've got the time.